Our Call 6 team is investigating dozens of reports of children left alone on school buses. They uncovered a state law designed to prevent that from happening. May not be working as some hoped. Call 6 investigator Kara Kenny joins us now with the results of her investigation. Kara. That's right, Todd. No one knows how many children were left on school buses before July 2009 because nobody had to report that information to the state. But three and a half years ago, a new law took effect, requiring school districts to tell the state when a child is left alone. The law doesn't specify whether left alone means two minutes or two hours. The people who wrote the law wanted to cut down on the number of children left and make it easier for you to to find out what happens. Well, we've learned that's not exactly what's happening. Emily Ellen gets nervous when she waits for her eight year old daughter, Piper, to get off the school bus. Do you ever worry that she might not get off the bus? Yeah, I do. Um, it's one of those like deep fears that you don't even want to think about. Ellen puts her trust in the bus driver to make sure Piper arrives home safely. Something that you definitely think about as a parent. And a 2009 law is supposed to help ensure Piper's safety. But the Call 6 investigators uncovered that law is not working exactly as planned. It requires schools and bus companies to report when a child is left alone on a school bus. The idea was the numbers would drop after the law took effect. But we found that's not the case. Records show nine incidents in 2009, 18 in 2010, 22 in 2011, and another 20 in 2012. That's 69 incidents since the law went into effect. Some of those incidents include more than one child. I'm actually quite shocked. I had no idea that it was the numbers were as high as they were. Check out this tape of a Center Grove bus driver leaving a dozen students on a bus for 15 minutes while she goes into a McDonald's. You can't believe that one of your people would be that careless. District Transportation Director Rick Peterson says it's frustrating the driver knew she left children behind. Anything can happen when a child is left unattended on a bus. On a freezing January day 2010, a Tippecanoe eight year old asleep on the bus woke up and wandered across the street to a nearby store. Police took her home. Two days later, a police officer found a disoriented Center Grove student walking along a busy road after she woke up on a parked bus. The district showed us several measures it has in place that encourage drivers to check the bus for sleeping or hiding children. They go to the back of the bus. And they press the child check system. Some high tech, some low tech, but sometimes technology and training aren't enough. And it falls back to the driver. The driver is ultimately responsible for making sure that that bus is safe. The call six investigators found hundreds of school districts and bus companies without a single child left, while nine reported more than one incident. Perry Township and Brownsburg had the most incidents statewide with three apiece. So how does that happen? How do you leave a child on a school bus? Well, it's always, it, it's never intentional, obviously. Um, and circumstances varied in all three of those cases. In one case, a bus driver stepped away to use the bathroom, leaving a fourth grader alone on the bus. Sometimes you have things like that that are, you know, shouldn't have happened, but, um, you know, sometimes those things do, unfortunately. Every kid has the potential of being in a dangerous situation if they're left on a bus. Michael LaRocco of the Indiana Department of Education says he is disappointed the law seems to have no impact on bus drivers leaving students alone. A little unsettling. The ideal number would be zero. I mean, it's not that difficult for drivers to do that, and we preach it constantly across every district. When the Call 6 investigators wanted to know more about kids left on buses, we couldn't find that information online. So we requested the data from the state, and some of what we got doesn't have many details. Turns out the state requires only a few pieces of information on the report, and the state doesn't have to post the information online. But what if school districts don't report when a child is left? The state has no way of knowing, and there's no punishment. We've had a, a couple districts that didn't submit a report, mainly because they didn't have the knowledge that says, hey, we have to report. LaRocco says the state did email school administrators when the law went into effect. Is there anything that could be done to make school districts provide more detail? Not without changing the law itself. So we asked Representative Robert Boehning, who co-sponsored the bus bill. Do you think there's some room for improvement there? I think there's always room for improvement. No child should be left on a school bus regardless of uh, the situation. So yes, I am disappointed it's not, you know, one or two I can understand, but 
I think it's a little high. As lawmakers consider possible tweaks to the law, school districts say they're taking extra steps to keep children safe. In Brownsburg, transportation officials use this dummy, Will, to keep drivers on their toes. When the drivers do their check, their final check, they find Will, they get to bring him in, and they get a candy bar or some other kind of treat. Do you have a good day? Yeah. Emily Elling says schools should make checking their buses for children a top priority. After all, it's precious cargo like Piper that need to make it home safely. So you might be wondering, what happens to the bus drivers who left kids? Well, some districts wouldn't tell us, but of those that did, 55% lost their jobs or resigned. 45% were disciplined and kept their jobs. As for Perry Township, they had three incidents. They declined to go on camera, but we posted their entire statement to us on our website, theindychannel.com. Well, Kara, you mentioned that parents can't find out online if their child's been left by their bus driver. So what can parents do? Well, for one thing, they can go to our website, theindychannel.com. We posted the latest list of incidents on our website. You can also ask your school, hey, has this ever happened with my bus driver? Also, talk to your kids. Tell them not to fall asleep on the school. <laughs> Bus. Many of those incidents that we looked at were incidents where children fell asleep. They went under the seat. Aww. So talk to your kids about that. Helpful advice, Kara Kenny. Thank you so much, no Todd. Problem.